Okay, so let's start with our DTO package. So DTO stands for data transfer object. So the first thing that comes to my mind is that if we are talking about an API for persons, I will need a way to push or create a new person. So that is going to be add person request, right? A class. Um, this will be a data class. And for create a new person, let's say that I just need a name, which is a string, and maybe a last name. This is, an, it's an, it's a string, but it could be new. Actually, the default value will be new. Okay. Um, so I will I will have as well a request for an update. So this will be update person request once again a data class um, for the add day I will need the ID of the person so let's put here an ID of long type um, a name a string and probably uh, we can add day or modify the last name too so let's put here remember that this can hold null values uh, this is for the re request, so let's write a response to. Uh, let's write something like person response, right? Uh, data class. You can choose, you can create a response for each kind of request if you want to. Um, let's say that I just want to return the ID of the person, which is a long and just one field more with the full name right um, okay we have our DTO layer here let's create now a data access layer let's create another package uh, DAO and let's use here this print data module for to do that let's create an interface which is a kind of um, class that allows us to just write the method signature so no implementation here let's create something like person DAO um, Spring Data has a cool class which is JPI repository um, this, in, this class needs two arguments generics which is the first one is our domain class type, so in this case is person. And the second one type is the ID type. So let's put long here. And by default, this interface you can navigate will uh, give us all these methods. So we have define all, find by ID, uh, save, delete. So basically, it's a set of interactions that we will we'll need to communicate to our database. And as well, you can write some uh, new methods here, right? So here is the documentation in how, how you can create new methods. You have to follow this syntax, right? So uh, let's put a annotation here, which is repository. This is similar to the rest. It will tell to the framework, okay, you have to create an instance of this interface, uh, bring it to the uh, container memory, and you, after that you can use it wherever you want in your project. It will be a singleton object by default. So um, let's move on to our service layer, right? Uh, we will put there our business logic. So let's create um, another package. Let's put here um, service. And let's create a new interface just to create our contract. Let's put something like person 
management service, right? So let's create a few methods here that we will need to our management service. Find, uh, find by ID, and this will receive an ID of long type, right? And we want to return a person response that could be null. So let's add the question mark right over here. Let's create a find all, uh, which return a list of person response. Let's create a save method, which receive the add person. Um, sorry, we have find here. Save. This receive the add person request. Note this that this is the name of the argument and uh, the param, and this is the type. And we'll return a person response. Let's create an update. Update request, and let's return a person response. And last but not least, let's create a delete by ID method, right? With the ID. In this case, I, I don't want to return anything, so I, I can leave just right right there the method or put a unit here, which is like void in Java. Um, okay, so I, I think the, it's pretty much all that we need. So let's create an implementation of this interface right over here. Let's implement all the methods. Let's use a new <coughs> annotation, which is service. Once again, this will tell to the framework, OK, I want you to create an instance of this service, put it in the container, and then I could use it in the rest of my uh, project by uh, a reference. right? So our service layer will need to access to our data in the database. And we have a layer for that, which is the DAO layer. So if I want to tell to the framework, OK, inject here or out of where the DAO layer, I need to add a attribute in the contractor of the class. So in that way, the framework will know, OK, I need here the, for instance, the person uh, DAO object. So there is a, another annotation for this, which is AutoWare. In, in this way, the framework will know that for this instance, the framework will need to inject here a person DAO. But since this is in the contractor, we can omit this AutoWare annotation. Okay, so uh, let's start working with all these methods, but you probably are wondering how we are going to map from a add person request to a person, because that is what we need here, and then to a person response. So let's start working uh, with another layer, which is how to transform those kind of objects, 